Today, we have to face up to the fact that we can't keep a clean sheet. And if we want to progress and get to where we want to get to, we're going to need to learn to keep some clean sheets. Also, today, we have the biggest game of the season. Well, no, biggest game of the series, really. And welcome to episode 33 of uh, Bottom to the Top as we try and take a National League South side, in this case Weymouth, all the way from the bottom up to the top. And this is our journey. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you uh, two games. First up, Vanarama National League uh, Match Day 26 um, against Oldham Athletic. And then we have to uh, travel along the south coast uh, to go to Brighton, not for a day out. Well, I suppose it is a day out, but uh, it's for the FA Cup third round. A big tie at the Amex Stadium and uh, a bit of a money spinner as well. Potentially uh, could uh, could hopefully see us uh, a little bit of cash to help the old coffers and so on and so forth. Um yeah, so that's uh, today's episode. Uh, just to remind, tell you that uh, I have actually signed a new contract at £25 a week more. I'm not going to spend it all at once, but uh, yeah, £25 a week more. Hey, that's £100 a month. It's not a lot, actually, is it? If we get promoted this season, I'll be looking for quite a huge pay rise. I should tell you that. I'll be looking for £1,000 a week, uh, especially if we go professional in amongst that lot as well so um i'm really gonna be um chuffing at the bit for that one right let's get into it let's get on with it uh we have been playing some games since you last with us it is the first of january on screen here and uh i can tell you um we have um well yeah we've been doing some good things to be fair um let's have a quick look at the schedule then first uh, since uh, last time you were with us we lost one nil to bradford city league leaders and they're still at the top there uh dorking uh, wanderers we beat them uh three one at their place uh, two goals from mika peters and one from elliot bolton um uh, since then we've played bromley beat them 2-1 woking beat them 3-2 don't forget i did say at the start uh, we're in trouble keep, keeping clean sheets, and it continues. Uh, Hartlepool beat them 2-1, and very tight affairs at that at all. But we always thought it was going to be a bit more difficult uh, in the higher league. Let's have a look at Bromley first then. Uh, Malvin Lambert getting our two goals against Bromley. Uh, first goal inside a minute. A short corner. Uh, Vincent to Casey. Vincent crosses it back in. It drops to Solanke. Solanke cross it in the area. Malvin Lambert. Heads it in beyond the goalkeeper. 1-0 then, inside the first minute. 1-0 it was at half-time. Uh, we went into the second half and Bromley did the dastardly four minutes after half-time. A free kick from Basic into Whelan. Whelan was brought down and a pen uh, goal scored. It would have been a penalty otherwise, I feel sure. But uh, referee playing on and uh, goal being scored. So, 1-1. After 49 minutes, uh, Melvin Lambert stepped up on the 76th minute to score this one. Davis with a throw into Slade. Back to Davis. Davis chips it in. Melvin Lambert heads in his second of the game. Our second of the game. A 2-1 win against Bromley. Seven shots, three on target. 1.58. Uh, 53% of the possession against there. Nine shots, just the one on target. The goal, uh, 0.99 and 47% of the possession. Um, it was... It was fairly tight. Melvin Lambert putting up a player of the match award for his um, endeavours. Uh, then we went, uh, well, we didn't. We uh, welcomed Woken to the uh, uh, Bob Lucas Stadium. I was trying to remember what the name of the stadium was there for a minute. Uh, to the Bob Lucas. Um, and 3 to the result in this one. Um, it was a bit of a tight affair. Woking near the bottom, uh, but didn't look like it from uh, the way they played. And they got the lead on 14. Akapata swings it in and uh, well put away. It just fell nicely 
for Brian War. Um, so, 1-0 down, uh, but Stanton, Chris Stanton, I'm not sure if this was his first goal uh, for us, but he did score after 27 to level it up. Evans with a free kick. It swung in. Defence uh, heading it away, but Stanton was first to it, putting it in the back of the net. And 1-1 uh, uh, then after the uh, 27 minutes. 1-1 one, one at half time. We took the lead through Melvin Lambert on 50 minutes. Prescott with a throw into Bolton. Back to Prescott. Prescott doing Prescott things on the head of Lambert after the goalkeeper come out and made a right haulix of it. Um, so 2-1 at this point and Solanke made it look more comfortable after 78. Ball cleared as far as Petit. Bolton on the edge of the area. Solanke. Solanke just creates a bit of space for him and almost chips it into the back of the net. 3-1 at this stage. And then Harrison Reese made us have squeaky bum time out on 83 minutes. Daru throws it into Foster. Daru crosses the ball low. And uh, he's uh, Reese at the near post, uh, whacking it past um, Armstrong in the goal. Melvin Lambert picking up another player of the match. 12 shots, three on target, uh, 1.73 on the XG, 56% of the possession. Woking, nine shots, three on target, 1.26 and 44% of the possession. Once again, goes to show that the teams at the bottom aren't as bad as they perhaps look on paper, which uh, took us to... Uh, that one on Boxing Day and then took us to this game against Hartlepool on the 28th um, up at the Sun Direct Stadium in Hartlepool. And uh, Amika Peters got us underway after seven minutes. Davis coming down this right wing forward for Evans. Evans crosses it. And Amika Peters probably with the easiest goal to get all season. Puts it in the back of the net. Seven minutes, one up. Uh, but uh, Yumara, Yumara um, got the level after 23 minutes. Our ability to keep clean sheets again being our Achilles heel. Amira wriggling around. He's tackled. The ball comes away. Uh, but Cook takes it into the penalty area. Another tackle comes in from Vincent. And Yumara puts it away. It's 1 1 at half time. And it looked like it was going to stay 1 1. In fact, I was doing something else and completely missed this goal from Sonny Davis. Kieran Evans, Slade, Lambert, Knight out to Davis. Davis into the area and uh, puts it away very deftly. And on 71 minutes, we take a 2-1 lead. As I say, completely missed that. Um, and thought we'd actually got a draw. And I thought, well, at the end of the day, we've not lost. That's the main thing. Uh, but as it was... Uh, we had actually snuck a win and uh, that uh, turns the uh, result on the opening day of the season, which was a 2-1 loss to Hartlepool. Um, 10 shots, 4 on target, 1.63. We weren't the dominant force as far as uh, XG and stuff were concerned, uh, but uh, we did have 61% of the possession and I think that probably won us over in the end. They had 12 shots, 3 on target. A 2.02 and 39% of the possession. Luke Armstrong having a good day in the goal. Uh, but it was Joe Knight that got player of the match. And uh, three wins then. Uh, four um, unbeaten at the moment if you include Dawkin, which leaves us still fourth in the table because everybody else around us is still winning. Chesterfield to have two games in hand, though, over Bradford City. So Bradford City are likely to drop into second at best. Um, so uh, as it currently stands, Bradford City top. Um, having played 26, um, we do have a game in hand over them, uh, just, just as a consequence. So technically we are only six points behind them. But Bradford City top on 58, uh, Chesterfield second on 54, Barnet are third on 50. Well, we uh, and played a game more than us, so we could overtake them, move up into third if we were to win that game in hand. Uh, we are fourth on 49 points and then comes Solihull Moors who have played a game more than us on 48 in 5th. And then there's a little bit of a drop down to Halifax in 6th on 42. And uh, York City 7th on 41. The good news is we're 10 points clear of Aldershot and Yeovil, who are currently outside of the playoff places, which uh, I'd like to see that gap open up a little bit more. But uh, at the moment is, uh, is, is quite good. So I think uh, the top uh, five or so are... I won't say running away with it, but they are the ones that uh, are starting to gather 
a little bit of pace, shall we say. Scunthorpe, Dorkin, Woking and Kingsland Town all in the drop zone. Uh, there is a little bit of a gap between uh, Scunthorpe and Dorkin and Woking appearing now with Boreham Wood uh, sitting on the trapdoor on 20 points. So at least five points uh, difference there. Uh, six points if you're looking at Woking and uh, Kings Lynn a further uh, point away. So um, they need to pick up fast halfway through the season. And uh, if they don't turn it around soon, they're going to find themselves dropping down into the uh, National League uh, regional um, leagues. Um, so uh, they need to uh, hop on that very, very quickly. Um is there anything else to tell you? I'm not sure there is right at the moment. Um, check the medical centre. Uh, Bryn Morris is out for a couple of days um, and then he should be back. He's out, uh, been out for a little while, uh, but he's due back very soon. Alfie Prescott, um, he is been out with a twisted knee, but he's back. Um, and of course, we have second game of the episode. We have that uh, big game against Brighton at the Amex. So we'll see um, how that one comes out. And then, of course, we have Braintree and York City in the next episode. But let's get on with this one. Uh, it is a big game against Oldham Athletic in the National League. Uh, they are currently 17th in the table. They are without Ronan Curtis, who has a broken lower leg, and a Raglan, doubtful with a hip injury. Bryn Morris is our only uh, injury uh, to boot. So uh, with that all said and done, let's have a look at the team that faces Oldham Athletic. And here's the team that faces Oldham Athletic and in this Van Rama National League match day 26. It's Armstrong continues in goal. Linton, Slade, Spurway, who's been on holiday for a couple of weeks. Um, so he's had a rest. Prescott on the right-hand side. Bolton, Stanton and Petit in midfield. It's Casey sat behind Cooper and Evans up front on the bench. We have Ransom, Davis, uh, Solanke, Peters and Malvin Lambert. And here we are at Oldham Athletic. Uh, they have won two, uh, drawn one and lost two. They're playing a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder today. We've won our last four games. Playing our usual formation. We are fourth on 49, Oldham 17th on 28 points. They have a new manager as well. 14 minutes on the clock, a free kick. It swung in, but straight into the arms of Armstrong. And it looks like the highlight is going to continue. That one out wide to Prescott. Prescott makes his first foray on camera down that side, but he's lost control of the ball, which isn't good. But Casey comes and tidies up. Cooper to Bolton. Bolton finds Stanton. Stanton out to Prescott. Prescott... Doing Prescott things into the area and Petit fires it straight on to the post. First opportunity. It goes begging. Petit hits it first time. Amisar, the Oldham goal. On the end of that one, that one's fired wide, but it's going to be tidied up by Linton. 36 on the clock. It's inside to Petit. Petit finds Linton, but it's uh, Linton's just a little bit too near the defender. And they're on the attack, and it's gone wide. Danger all over this one. Fires it in. And if Moraris gets on the end of that properly. Throwing on that far side. 39 on the clock. Nearly 40 minutes to Bolton. Petit swivels around. Nearly lost the ball. Has Bolton on the edge of the area. Bolton puts it away. Fourth goal of the season for Elliot Bolton. And uh, on 41 minutes we take uh, the lead. It's been hard work. Now the job begins of trying to keep that clean sheet. Of course, something that we are unable to do. And we take that one goal lead into half time. 
Seven shots, three on target, 0.78, 64% of the possession. They've had three shots, one on target, 0.52, and 36% of the possession. Um, yeah. And we have a highlight from kickoff. We get the game underway. It goes back to Bolton. For T, Evans, who kicked us off. Spurway. Out to Prescott. Prescott. Can Prescott do Prescott things? No. He's not firing on all cylinders out there today. I'm not sure what's going on. Bolton trying to win that ball. Didn't quite win it. And it's gone over the top. But Armstrong's going to fall on that. And uh, I'm not quite sure why the highlight. Uh, but the highlight continues. Spurway. Petit. Petit now down this wing. He's got in the way of Prescott. Prescott. Shot over the top. Evans now. Evans. Can Evans do Prescott things? Casey. Oh, yes. Third goal of the season for uh, Dan Casey. And uh, we take a two-goal lead. That's what the highlight was all about. And on 47 minutes, it's a lovely ball in. Evans brings it under control, just bides his time. He's got Casey there in support, and defender misses it, and uh, Casey puts it away. Free kick now, 50 minutes on the clock. Slade to Petit. Petit, Spurway. Spurway looked for Prescott, but he was being guarded. Slade over the top, Cooper! Cooper puts it away. It's uh, onside, 10th goal of the season, and we haven't seen Cooper do that for a while. And uh, that was really stylish, and three-goal lead on 50 minutes. They've made a boatload of changes. We're going to check that out in just a moment. Slade over the top, Cooper onside, and uh, he just controlled it and brought it down, showed his quality. Let's see the lines now when that ball's played. Oh, I don't know. Having said that, not much in it. And with 60 minutes on the clock, making our first change, Bolton, Elliot Bolton, uh, who got us underway um, with that first goal. Um, he's tiring, so we've taken him off and we've brought on Tom Solanke. Casey comes forward, but he's given that ball away. And uh, this is it. This is where we want to try and keep the clean sheet. Are we able to do it? No. And Lund Lundstrom gets one back for Oldham. Our inability, I just don't know. I think it's when we get tired. We're 86 minutes in and, uh, yeah. And with 87 minutes on the clock, making our final two changes. Casey Petit has been uh, replaced by uh, Harry Ramson. And uh, we've also taken off Alfie Prescott and uh, replaced him with Sonny Davis. No more highlights in this one. It's all over. A 3-1 win and still can't keep that clean sheet. I suppose not paying out any clean sheet bonuses. That's one thing. Uh, 10 shots, 5 on target, 1.34, 64% of the possession. They had 8 shots, 4 on target, 0.85 and 36% of the possession. Uh, player of the match award for Elliot Bolton, who had uh, two key passes, um, one uh, scored a goal and um, did he get an assist as well? It doesn't say he got an assist, but uh, he's had a good game out there and uh, so have majority of the rest of the team, to be fair. So uh, a good win at Boundary Park. Let's go and see how that leaves us in the table. So here we are. This is uh, how the uh, New Year's Day results, or day after New Year's Day, should I say, uh, results have gone on. In fact, I think we moved on a day. It was uh, New Year's Day results. Um, yeah, Thursday, 1st of January. There we go. Um, South End beating older shot. Uh, Bromley and Scunthorpe, a 2-2 a draw. Uh, Chesterfield beating Dagenham and Redbridge by two goals to one. Uh, Gateshead beating Halifax Town 4-1. Bradford City only managing to draw against Hartlepool. Um, Kings Lynn Town on the bottom of the table, not any longer. Uh, they've managed to get a stonking win against Dawn King 6-2. Uh, Talking about changing, turning corners. Have they actually turned a corner? Uh, a 3-1 win uh, for us. That takes us to five unbeaten. Uh, York City beating Woking by four goals to one. 
and uh, Yeovil Town drawing 2-2 with Altrincham, which leaves the table looking like this. Bradford City first on 59. They've uh, conceded a little bit of ground, though. Chesterfield with Stuke, still two games in hand and are literally two points behind them. We are seven points behind them with a game in hand, which means that it's down to four points if we can win that game in hand, uh, which would be, sorry, uh, yeah, four points. Um if we can win that game in hand. So uh, starting to put a bit of pressure on there. Uh, Barnet are fourth on 50 points. Then comes Holly Old Moors on 48. York City are sixth on 44. They do have a game in hand, though. Um, Halifax Town are seventh on 26. And Yeovil Town outside the playoffs on 40 points, which means we're now 12 points clear of them. Uh, so that's opened up even bigger gap, uh, which is good news. Scunthorpe, Kingsland Town, Dawkin and Woken in that bottom bit, but they have closed the gap on Boreham Wood, uh, albeit Boreham Wood, I've just realised, has a substantial about three games in hand over that lot, um, which means that Hartlepool are the next uh, thing, and they're 10 points adrift of those, so quite a bit of uh, stuff to go on there. Right, we have two days down to our FA Cup tie against Brighton. We're going away. We'll come back ahead of that game with Brighton, bring you the team news and uh, anything else that is news, basically. So we come back on match day and uh, we're looking at the finance page because we want to try and calculate how much money we will make out of this. And um, it's uh, currently standing at 237000 so, um, <clears throat> although it does say overall balance, 215,000. So we call it 216,000 and we'll see uh, what we uh, make out of today's uh, expedition into the FA Cup. Um, of course, uh, trip to the Amex Stadium uh, in Brighton uh, for this one. Brighton currently... Um, they are in the Premier League. They're currently 13th position. Media's prediction was 12th. So they're around about where they would expect to be in the Premier League. Uh, they've currently played 19 games, won six, uh, drawn three, lost 10, 18-4, uh, 28 against 21 points. Uh, a little bit way off of Liverpool and Manchester City at the top of that table uh there so uh anyway that uh is it uh the team news we haven't played them i'm pretty sure we haven't played them this series no we haven't um team news is adam webster is out with a calf strain we have a full complement of players to choose from uh which ones to choose is another matter one thing i haven't done so far today is don't forget if you do enjoy the episode today leave me that big thumbs up subscribe hit the notification button leave me a comment let me know what you think of the series so far. And, of course, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, at Just Offside 2. So, uh, without any more to do, let's have a look at the team that we will face in this FA Cup third round tie, which, at the end of the day, let's face it, is a bit of a cash cow. And here is the team that uh, we face here at the Amex in the Emirates FA Cup third round. It's Armstrong in goal, Vincent, Ransom, Spurway and Davis. Our defensive uh, line, Bolton, Solanke, Knight across our midfield. Casey sits behind Peters and Melvin Lambert up front. And then on the bench we have Campbell, Slade, Prescott, yeah, and Linton. So we've got both our wide players at the back there. Um that technically we can bring on Vice, Stanton, Petit, Evans and Cooper. And as far as I'm aware, um, can we check? I have a feeling we can play five substitutes in the FA Cup. So uh, that's uh, a bit of a bonus. So uh, we've got the opportunity to uh, mix it up a little bit um, if, we, uh, if we don't get on too well. So that's the team then that faces Brighton. And here we are at the Amex. Uh, they've won two of their last five. A draw, a lost uh, the other three. They're playing a flat back three today. And uh, to try and combat us. They don't want anything uh, major to slip up, I guess. And we have a highlight from kickoff. Toure getting us on the way all the way back to Lewis Dunk. And Rushworth in the 
Brighton goal. Let's hope it's not an early goal. That really wouldn't go down well. And uh, it's come off of the defender into the arms of Armstrong. They have a corner. Saramento. And something has gone on. What's gone on? Uh, VAR will look at this as a question of a penalty. And it's been awarded. Dunk was pushed by Bolton. I don't know why. And, uh, hmm. Toure steps up, sends Armstrong the wrong way. And Brighton take the lead after 26 minutes. His second goal of the season. It's all been Brighton. Lempiti in Shortwood. Not really had a look in as yet. Let's hope if and when we do, we profit from it. Mind you, we have come out and been quite sort of, I say defensive, not defensive, but we've been quite sort of like conservative in our uh, movement. Casey fires one out looking for Peters. Peters has found it. Peters got the run on player out there. It's uh, come off that uh, defender, Bolton. But a poor ball by Bolton in the end. And a chance. Lampiti. Lampiti crosses it in. And uh, Hinshelwood straight the goalkeeper. Good save by Armstrong. They have another corner. Sarimento. Again, this is swung in. It's cleared. And Vincent is going to get their referee getting in the way. Vincent comes out with this. He's on the wrong side of the pitch. But he's, uh, he's got... Oh, don't lose the ball. Crossed it into the area, but nobody there. Van Heck back to Rushworth. Rushworth, Van Heck. As we look to try. Lampiti on that far side has been causing us all sorts of problems. And uh, yeah, Vincent is left for dust. Sarmiento, he's coming inside. He's going to have a go. He puts it wide. In fact, Armstrong saved it. And uh, Armstrong is having a good game in goal today. Manhoff on this side. Vincent will get there, though. What's Vincent going to do with it this time? Spurway fires it forward, but nobody there and gives the ball away again and puts us under pressure. Sarmiento. Oh, yeah. It was well saved again by Armstrong. And we've got to half time. Just that one goal behind a penalty from Toure after 26. They've had 10 shots, seven of them on target. 3.10 on the XG, 69% of the possession. Uh, we've had just two shots, not hit the target yet. 0 0.06 and 31% of the possession. Um, I suppose a goal down was still in it, but we need to uh, be uh, having shots and on target for us to, to even uh, have a possibility of getting back into this game. Armstrong with a goal kick. It's 48 minutes on the clock. And uh, that ball out to Spurway. Spurway's too short. And Saramiento is on it. And a goal. It was uh, a mistake by Spurway. And uh, it's cost us dearly. 49 minutes. We go two behind. And uh, it was poor. Try to... And there, just to see how much quicker they are at uh, the ball and the shot. Free cut, Meinhof. Spurway heads it clear, but Hinchelwood will get there. And they recycle it. Van Heck, Hinchelwood. Hinchelwood into the area. It's in, and it's number three. And, and Cisco is the player that's doing the damage. 3 nil down, and, uh, well... I was hopeful we wasn't going to be a cricket score, but it's going to look like it now. Question of whether he was offside or not. As this ball's played in. Apparently somebody playing him on, but there you go. We have a corner, 56 minutes on the clock. Vincent with the corner, swings it in, and we've got a goal. Harry Ransom scores his first goal for us, and what a time to score it. We've got one back on 57 minutes. And, uh, well, 
At least we've scored a goal. Harry Ramson getting there, putting it away. They have a free kick. Adarabio. And uh, they may restore that three goal lead if we're not careful. And Cisco. Yep, they have. Just played it in. Hinchelwood just taps it home. 4 1 on 61. Lead. Goal back um, almost immediately. And with 61 minutes on the clock, making three of our five changes, Sonny Davis is off. Uh, Alfie Prescott comes on on that right-hand side. We've taken off Elliot Bolton, who was tiring again. He's not really gained full fitness since he's come back from that injury. Uh, Knight moves over to the left. Petit comes on for Elliot Bolton. And we've taken off Amika Peters up front and brought on Kieran Evans. We have another corner, 64 minutes on the clock, nearly 65 Kieran Evans is on, takes this, uh, and oh, he's come back off the woodwork. That was unlucky. And Kieran Evans avoiding it because he was offside. It's ball in. It's headed on by again by Ransom, but this time onto the woodwork and cleared by the defender. Free kick, Junior over the free kick, and Cisco. Meinhoff. Junior. Just going to encourage them a little bit. Ball forward. Ransom underneath that. Brings it down. Casey. Casey comes forward. Casey inside. He's got Evans there. Melvin Lambert. Melvin Lambert. What's he going to do with this? Solanke. Petit. Petit to Spurway. Spurway. Petit. Petit could have forwarded that to Prescott then. He was free and could have gone. Ransom. Vincent. Vincent comes forward with this ball. Holds it up. Has Knight in support. Knight crosses it in. Oh, just wide from Melvin Lambert. And with 18 minutes on the clock, uh, we're making our final two changes. Tom Solanke is off. Um, Chris Stanton comes on in his place in that uh, centre of defence. Um, he's preferred as a defensive midfielder. Well, that's what we will do. Uh, defensive midfielder on support. Um, so we'll put him in there. And um, the other change that we have made is in defence. We've taken off Spencer Spurway, who uh, has been... He's tired and he's not had a good game. And uh, we've put Harvey Slade in the centre of defence alongside Ransom. And Brighton on the move again. Cisco and Cisco crosses his deep. Hodgeberg with a bicycle kick and it's gone wide. And it's all over. We're out of the FA Cup, but no surprise there, really. Playing Premier League uh, opposition. And uh, we weren't disgraced, really. I think we did very, very well in the end. 4-1. We had seven chances, uh, three of which were on target. So uh, definitely played better in that second half. 0.64 on the XG. 36% of the possession. They had 16 shots, 10 of which were on target. 4.61. Uh, on the XG, 64% of the possession. And, uh, well, it was uh, it was an inevitable result. And, uh, well, we, uh, we we give it our all and we've uh, we've done well and we'll uh, we'll accept the money gracefully. But uh, uh, back to the league. Well, in fact, not back to the league, back to FA Trophy next in the next episode. And then it's back to the league. Well, some games have been played in the Van Arma National League. Chesterfield have gone top and still have a game in hand over Bradford City uh, by virtue of a 4-0 win against Altrincham. Uh, Halifax Town have beaten Dagenham and Redbridge by two goals to one. Gateshead and Ling uh, Kingsland Town 1-1. Uh, uh, Scunthorpe beat Boreham Wood by a goal to nil, um, which means that uh, Scunthorpe have closed the gap on... Um, Boreham Wood and uh, that at the bottom there, albeit Boreham Wood do have games in hand. Uh, South End 1, Eastleigh 2 and York City 4, Oldham Athletic 1, which leaves the table looking like this at the end of the episode. Um, Chesterfield top, played 26, 60 points. Uh, Bradford City in second, so they've played a game more uh, on 59 points and we're seven points behind Bradford City, but with a game in hand. So technically only four points adrift of them. Um, and uh, five points adrift of Chesterfield, um, having played a similar amount of games. Uh, 
Barnet have played a game more than us. Uh, they are fourth on 50 points, which means we would be five points clear of them if we were to win our game in hand. Uh, Soliel Moors have played 26. They're on 48. York City, 26 on 47. And Halifax Town have played 27 on 45. But there's a five-point gap between them and Yeovil Town uh, just outside the playoff spots. And we are currently 12 points still a clear of them. Uh, so uh, lots to play for. Scunthorpe, Kingsland Town, Dorkin and Woking in that drop zone. Uh, but they have closed the gap on the bottom teams, albeit, as I say, Bonwood do have games in hand. Three, in fact, over most of those, or two at least. Um, but I suppose you should take Hartlepool as being the next team in there, and that's 26. So there is still quite a gap down the bottom of the table there. Right, finances. Let's have a look. 449 we uh gate receipts from that game we virtually doubled well we have doubled down a little bit i think it was 216,000 in there that's not bad is it we've doubled our money in the bank that is quite quite reassuring i'm expecting an increase in the wage budget to give us a little bit of room to bring in a couple of players to to uh to help our promotion push We'll see if we can talk to the uh, to the board in between and get them to uh, to play ball, as it were. Right there, we go. Then a money spinner, and uh, it's uh, brought in some cash. Uh, very nice too. We're coming back for a game against a brain tree uh, at the start of the next episode. It's the FA Trophy fourth round. Uh, we've played them four times this series so far. Only beaten them once. Uh, that of the Bob Lucas, a four-two win on that occasion. I played them at Braintree twice and lost to them twice. 2-1 on both occasions. Uh, and the last time we played them, we lost 4-2 um, at the Bob Lucas as well. This game is away at Braintree. We seem to be on a bit of a runaway games. One, two, three, four, five, six away games on the trot. Uh, so we are away at the moment and away to Braintree. 2-1 the last twice we've been there. Um, let's see if we can do something different this time. Um, but of course, uh, we have got... A few days, got about six days down to it. So time to recover from our exploits in the FA Cup. Hopefully uh, we can do something. Then we'll play York City, who are currently sixth in the table. So they're up near the top with us uh, for that one. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so Bar. Um, and of course, by hitting the notification button, it keeps you up to date with all future episodes of uh, Bottom to the Top and our other series, Irons in the Fire, as they are released. A new episodes of Bottom to the Top released every Tuesday and Friday at 4 15 pm. And the best way of keeping up to date with what's happening on this channel is to follow me on Twitter, uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, at Just Offside 2. Um, thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. It'll be episode 34, and it's out on Tuesday. Until, until then, have yourselves a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.